Hey, what's up, guys? I'm not sure if you guys saw the Libertarian National Convention that was being held this past weekend. Uh, if you haven't, I suggest you go check out some of the highlights, especially with Dave Smith, because he's awesome. Uh, but it was pretty wild, because Robert Kennedy Jr. and Trump was there. And when Trump was speaking, it got a little bit heated, which was uh, interesting. Uh, but again, if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. Uh, that being said, considering that that party exists in the United States, and it does not here in Canada... The question I have for you guys is, should the Libertarian uh, Party exist in Canada? Should we start that party again? I would love to see it personally. I'm more of a Libertarian, uh, you know, center, populist, whatever way you want to call it. But, um, you know, it's it's a party that I think probably wouldn't do very well at first. But I think that, uh, you know, as a grassroots party, if it's done properly... You know, it could be a real good movement and a real viable option to vote for one day. And that would be great. I mean, I know we already have a lot of options, but we don't have a libertarian option. I guess the People's Party would probably be the closest, but I don't think Maxim Bernie is a libertarian. Maybe I'm wrong. The only thing I really know about him is that he's too weak to win an election in his own riding. So, you know, people are backing away from, from that, rightfully so. What do you guys think? Should we have a libertarian party? I would certainly support it if it was run properly. And again, if you guys saw what happened in the United States, uh, the Libertarian Party is a mess. They just picked their candidate today, but it is, it's a guy by the name of Chase Oliver, who is pro, he was pro-mandate and pro-open borders. How can you be Libertarian if you're pro-mandate and pro-open borders? That doesn't really make any sense. Like you, if you to be a libertarian, you have to. The, the 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 thing you have to understand is here's what like to wrap it all up really quickly. What a libertarian is is you have to understand that the government is a necessary evil, and because it is both necessary and evil, it must be kept small. No outreach, no mandates. You know, no lockdowns anti-war, country first, uh, no uh, interventionalists sending money to Ukraine, uh, no censoring people. That's what libertarians believe in. And we're very strict on these. Like We don't really like to give too much in terms of a give and take kind of a thing. And that's really what's good about libertarians. However, but a lot of people in the United States who I identify as libertarians, I guess is the right way to put it, aren't really libertarians. The Libertarian Party from New Hampshire uh, posted a retweet of somebody who said that Donald Trump should be shot and then captioned it with based. It's like, wait a minute. If you're a libertarian, how can you want someone to be killed for speaking? That is, I mean, you're a Democrat. <laughs> that's, what, that's, what all, that's what Democrats say. That's who they want to be killed or would be happy if it did happen. And the guy that they just elected is not really a libertarian either, but he was elected, which means a lot of people in the Libertarian Party voted for him to elect him. They could have elected Robert Kennedy Jr. who was there. Now, to be fair, he's not really a libertarian either, but neither is Chase Oliver, the guy you, you voted for. So what, like, what are you doing? That party is so disorganized. And I know that Dave Smith was planning on running, but he had to drop out for family reasons. Uh, that being said, you know, whatever was going on there, I hope he's doing better because, well, not just for the party, but for his personal sake, but also, you know, he's got to be the guy to, to take that party over. It's filled with too many clowns. They're, 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 they don't know what they're doing, and half of them aren't libertarian. They just want to pretend to be because they think it's cool. But really, they're just liberals. That's fine. Go be liberal. But don't pretend you're a libertarian. You're not. You're just making this party look like an absolute shit show, and it needs to be cleaned up. So hopefully Dave Smith can do that. But anyway, back to Canada. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you guys think that we should have a libertarian candidate? Or party, rather? And if you do, do you have any candidates that you would have in mind? Maybe... I know Jordan Peterson's talked about running or potentially getting into politics, because he used to be in politics. I think he's more conservative, though. I don't know if he could be a good fit for the libertarian party. But that's an interesting thought. But if any of you guys have any uh, other thoughts or any ideas of who that might be, if you want to see a Libertarian Party, definitely let me know in the comment section. 
Uh, and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Turn the notification bells on as well just so that you get notified every time I make a new video because it really, really helps grow this channel. We're over a 1,000 uh, subscribers now, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with another video.